library in Atlanta, where 21 communities went up and met with the Georgia Department of Economic Development, um, all three utility companies, elected officials, Department of Community Affairs, Department of Ag showed up. Um, we hosted a dinner, and then the next day, we hosted a presentation about what South Georgia is, what all we have to offer, and the assets that we have amongst the 21 communities that are participated in that. Um, um, so we had a good turnout, good feedback, and Gary Black was, Commissioner Gary Black was very supportive. Um, with our South Georgia Regional Alliance, that's the four communities that we work with. Um, we actually, some of this marketing money that we'll see catch up will be some of our consultant outreach programs that we've got coming up in April and May, um, March, April, and May. And continue to work on the issues President's Advisory Council with our target industries. Um, I participated in a chamber roundtable with um, um, Terry Bennett asked me to participate. Tom will be with us and you can elaborate if you would like to. Um, but it was really good. A lot of good information was exchanged and I think there'll be some follow-up meetings with that. Um, it was very informative and the topic was how we help our existing industries. So um, it was really good. It was very informative and we got a lot of really good feedback. Um, just to be able to just make sure you got April 10th on your calendar at Wild Adventures for our board meeting. And I did send out an email asking you what you want to talk about so that I can build out um, our agenda. Um, Scott Purvis will facilitate for us that day, but if you could really go back and look at that email and kind of give us some feedback on what you want to talk about and what are some of the top priorities you want to address. Um, and then just um, some stuff that um, just some feedback that we've gotten. Um, I had a great meeting with Commissioner Carr today for about, or yesterday for about an hour to talk about South Georgia, to talk about project activity, um, what's going on throughout the state, and um, always wanting to see more. Um, met with um, some developers uh, or brokers in Atlanta that are marketing the organic milling building for the owner. Um, had some really good feedback with them and, and also met with a project manager that specializes in recruitment for the food industry and bringing that here into South Georgia. Um, so a lot of good contacts were made um, or a lot of good conversation had over the last couple of days. Um, coming up, we have a trip to the Georgia Ports Authority um, and that is to um, discuss intermodal and inland port facilities here in the last of Isles County. We'll be meeting with their vice president of industrial and recruitment and business recruitment, so we're talking to them, um, as well as the president of that division as well, will be in the meeting. We'll go and we'll talk about Bob Astolans, the import, exports, we've been pulling all that information together, um, been working on some properties that we can look at, the designs of those sorts of properties and the conceptuals, and then also working on the rail system and the connectivity that go along with that. Um, so we'll be prepared to talk about that when we go, but we'll also do a tour of the ports. We've had a lot of meetings over the last um, few weeks to talk about that and actually met with Georgia Power this morning on conceptuals. Um, I'll be out of town in March 26 at a consultants forum to um, kind of do speed dating uh, and meet with several different consultants and then also will be attending a foreign direct investment um, in April. So uh, meeting with consultants that deal directly with companies that are doing foreign direct investments. And then we also have IANC, Industrial Asset Management, that will also be going to in April as well. So, I think we can probably change. Okay. I'll give you just, the whole port thing seems like something we ought to be talking about at our retreat. I mean, if there's, we probably don't understand all the ramifications of that or what we could be doing about it. Um, I mean, that sounds like something big enough that if the board needed to try to pull the community in or whatever we needed to do, I mean, that's, Sounds like something that could be huge, but we probably don't even understand all that's involved in that. Yeah, and that, that is the purpose for the April 17th meeting. It's sort of a you know contingency from Valdosta to go into Savannah to meet with the board director and the, and the economic developer, uh, economic development authority, right. as well as the ports guy. That's two different. And so to, to talk about just that and to see where opportunities are for inland ports or intermodal situation, you know, which is sort of an inland port, but it's not, it's kind of a small deal, but um, it, it's definitely something we're looking into, so it's going to be great for that. I think when we come back from April, we'll have a lot more information. Um, and that, is that before or after April 10th? That's after. It's, after. it's, oh, a, it's okay. a week after. All right, well then maybe if we move. If we were on their schedule with that. Yeah, um, no, that's fine. But hopefully, you know, something good will come out of it either way. Um, 
what I was going to say before we get to Steve is, um, you know, the in existing industry roundtable that we had with the chamber last week was, was very good. I mean, the Stan's report highlights a lot of the, you know, the bigger ways that we can help companies in their expansion plans, but we, I think, are quickly identifying other ways that we can help existing industry with things that won't make this uh, summary. And that sort of was eye-opening to us, I think, from some existing industries who were there to, to identify ways that we can help them, um, not necessarily when they're adding new jobs or you know adding more square footage or capital investment, but other ways that we can help them locally to make them feel better about doing business here. And, um, you know, we're, we're certainly aware of those things now and are going to sort of change some of the, the charge of the existing industry focus. Um, so I look forward to seeing that and, and getting more involved in that. There, there's going to be several follow-up meetings from that that will hopefully bring the city and the county and us together in, in a more formal way to um, address some of the concerns that some a, a broad base of uh, existing in, industries are having locally with some you know, regulations and some other issues. So I'm um, excited about that. And then two, I'll say the boots have been on the ground here in the last few weeks. It's been really busy with prospect activity in town. And, um, you know, the, every pro project prospect that comes in is not designed to fit into, you know, the, the square peg, if you will. And uh, this team has been very, very creative and adaptive to the requests that they've been getting. and. Um, to the challenges that these companies have or you know the needs that they have. And I just want to commend you guys because you're you're you don't not once have I heard you say, we just, we just don't do that, or that's not even your attitude. It's we will get this done if you just give us a chance, you know, let us explore while we may not have that, you know, answer for you here. And it's kept these guys involved and engaged and it and it tells them more about our community than just what you have to say. I think it shows them that um, you know, we are committed as a whole, community leaders, citizens, everybody that, that can, to um, encouraging new business here. I want to commend you guys for that. So I've seen it firsthand recently, and it's, it's impressive. So hopefully we'll be able to have the big blockbuster announcements, but even if we, you know, have the, the smaller ones, it, it, they're going to all compound up and, and add up. So keep charging on that. See? Uh, if you recall, uh, last month, uh, we went to see the Board of Assessors on the personal property aspect. 